You know, whenever I'm doing uh, any of these uh, tricks of mine via YouTube, the one thing that I'm always being asked about is ace cutting, ace cutting, ace cutting, always, always ace cutting, scarny aces and blah, 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 blah. Ace cutting's great, but I've always struggled with one particular facet of it, and that is, why would a magician go through a deck of cards, take out the four aces, show them, and then actually lose those aces back into the deck only to find them again. doesn't make any sense. Why take them out in the first place? So here's a, a, a solution to that. Um, these are four ordinary aces. There's nothing untoward about them. The deck is ordinary. And you can hand this out for shuffling as well. A spectator can shuffle this up. It, um, it's, uh, it makes no difference. Um, we're not using sort of like any kind of uh, stripper deck or anything of that nature either. And the faces of the cards are not treated with anything. It is a legitimate deck. Okay. So once the, the spectator is happy that these cards are mixed, they can then take any of the aces in any order and just stick them wherever they want into the deck like so. It doesn't matter. Okay, so in go uh, them four aces. Now watch, here comes the control. Are you ready? Here we go. And bang, and look, all four aces back on uh, the top. No, I am kidding. They really are lost in there this time. Uh, and you can let the spectator shuffle again. That's the nice thing here. Get, let, let them have another little shuffle. However, people still seem to think there's something going on here. So before you actually try and find those aces, make sure that deck is mixed. Prove it to your spectator. This is what you do. You take it and you give it the best shuffle we know. Okay. This is um, uh, the chaos shuffle. <laughs> Uh, this was shown to me by Lennart Green, and uh, this will control all of the aces uh, to the top, hopefully. Look, I'll even do the, the little Lennart Green thing. Look at this. Right. So I think you'll agree with me that those aces now really are gone. So let's see if we can find them. Oh, just get the spectator to give them one cut as well before you go into this. The usual rubbish, you know, no bent corners, anything of that nature. All right, let's see how we get on. Four aces from different parts of the pack. Now, generally, I, 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 I don't hit it all the time, but... Usually I can get an ace, and again, you know, one higher, um, not there, or even here, look, you know, we'd have uh, we'd have missed that. So so there we go. So again, give them to the spectator, let them shuffle them again, you know, we want them to be to be well mixed. And then we can have another crack at finding another ace. Now, I don't know how we've gone on here, but yes, you can see that's the second red one. So we've got the two red ones, now we need uh, uh, some black ones. We'll just mix these up again, and again, just a little cut like so. So um, a black one now. I'm not really sure here. I'm going to go for there. I, I do miss on occasion, but not today. There's the uh, the ace of clubs, and that just leaves the ace of spades. And one last time, I'll give these a little mix and another one. Okay, in fact, blow it. Give it to the spec. Let him shuffle them up as well. So we've got one last mix of cards. So right, we're going to give it one last go here again. I do miss on occasions. Let's see how we're going to go on here. I'm not sure. I think that. Yep, there is the ace of spades. So there you go. That's proper ace cutting from a truly legitimate shuffle deck of cards. Okay, this deck is is legit. And so are these aces. And this trick is impromptu. You can go and do it whenever and wherever to whoever you would want. And I'm going to call that um, uh, Scarney versus Hall. I think that's uh, will do for the time being. Thank you very much for watching.